Don't forget the ads, feed the ducks. And if you want to contribute more, share the video. And if you don't want to share the video, click on the link, 50ducksonahottub.com below. You can get yourself one of these cool t-shirts if your dugout wasn't in the way. You can see it. There you go. And if you don't want to get a t-shirt, you can make monthly donations or one-time donations. 50ducksonahottub.com below the video. Enjoy the show. I was hoping to get a shot for you guys. Two mallards were right in the yard. There, of course, there's a Muscovy out too. You wouldn't believe what time it is, guys. It's quarter to five in the morning. Doug, uh... Sorry about that, I had to check the camera. I'm so asleep right now. Um, Doug woke me up at 4 a.m. Um, there was a bunch of crows out here. Actually, they were sitting up there on top of the hydro... Or the hydro... The uh, yard. Like, there was two of them sitting up there, crowing back and forth to each other, like they were a foot apart, but they were screaming at each other. And Doug came right, well, he was sleeping downstairs, actually. He came running up the stairs, I hear these thump, 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 that's what woke me up. At first, I heard a thump, 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 and then all of a sudden, just started barking like crazy out the, out the bedroom window, and I looked at the clock, and it's four o'clock, and I was like, oh, boys. But I, something told me last night, you know, if I wake up early, come down here, and check the ducklings for water because I had a hunch that they would have no water this morning. So let's see, it's quarter to five, if they have any water. Good morning, little ducks, and they have no water. So Doug woke me up, well the crows woke me up to let me know, look at that. I knew you guys were gonna pound the water box. I'm down here really early today for you guys. Oh, look at the size of them today. They exploded. <laughs> I don't believe this. But, you know, I, I did say to myself, I, I think I even said it on camera yesterday, that, you know, if, uh, if I wake up early, I'm going to come down. Quarter to five, is it ever bright out? I go around, guys. But today we're supposed to get rain all day. Uh, they're calling for rain all day, so I don't know if I'm going to get my work done in the pen or not. I was planning on doing a bunch of configuring of the grids to make enclosures with the big tarps. I've got two massive tarps I want to use. Well, actually two banners they're like five foot by 30 foot uh, and I was gonna put them together and make a big uh, enclosure in the middle of the pen but they're supposed to like you can feel it really really feels damp all right let me get the water to these poor little thirsty look at all they're all looking at me or they want out that could be also too but I think they want water oh yeah look at that that's a swarm of full water I wonder what time they ran out last night, because it's quarter to five in the morning here, and I, I put them in last night, actually it was, it was at 9.15 when I put them inside here last night. Are they ever thirsty? Well, thanks for waking me up, Dougie. I gotta do something here, uh, well, I know, they're getting outside here next day or so. I think what I'm going to do at night, I'm going to put two water in here. Tonight there'll be two water. Yeah, they need more water. Actually, I'm going to fill the other water up and just put it in here beside it. Yeah, tonight for sure I'm going to hang two water in here. But I think it's only going to be two more nights they're going to be in here. I think it's only two more nights. And then they'll have the front, with the front, you know, I've got the kiddie pools out front, so there's like, you know, like 40 gallons of water, or 30, 30 gallons of water out front, so. Just look at them. That's a serious drink-a-thon. Well, I'm glad Dougie woke me up, or the crows came to uh, annoy Doug to wake me up. But something told me last night, you know, and I went to bed late like two last night, guys. I didn't get to bed till quarter after 11. But time I ate supper, I didn't eat my supper uh, till it was, I think, 10 o'clock I was eating supper. Uh, everything I did here yesterday was a crazy day. It was, uh, you know, I didn't, uh, you know, wash in that, uh, you know, I, did, I didn't t think it was going to take so long to set up the hatcher and move everything over and then I ended up candling all those eggs and it was, um, 
a little too much activity yesterday. It was my day was really long. Yeah, now I'm gonna go have some coffee. Even though my body's telling me to go back to bed, <laughs> I, I gotta get up because these animals uh, have got different plans for me every day. I keep thinking, you know, I'm gonna take it a little bit easier. You know, then that's like start doing all the things I have to do, and next thing you know, the whole day's gone. Oh, look at this! The scovies are out. Okay, they're out here now. It's a really, really warm night, guys. Or day, or now it's morning, I should say. But last night was brutally uh, warm. Look at that. They're outside. Focus camera, or is that my eyes? All the babies are out here. They're sleeping outside. All the babies are snuggled under the tree. All the mothers out here guarding the babies. Look at that. Four mothers for ten babies. <laughs> It's time for me to have my coffee. Oh, I know ducks. Not yet. Oh, it's too early. It's way too early, actually. Okay, let's check on our little goslings. Oh, we got three goslings, guys. Look at that one. Uh... Well, it looks like the hash is having a problem. And then we got two in the back. So all three eggs uh, hatched for the last batch. Oh, but I wonder what's wrong with that other one there. He's all fluffed up, but he's laying there on his side. Oh, oh we got three little uh, goslings. All right, guys, we've got three goslings. Now, the, the one that hatched last night that was laying... Um, on its side that is still laying on its side uh, I don't know what's going on with it but the other two have totally hatched and uh, they're uh, getting actually quite strong I'm going to uh, set up a little uh, brooding nesting type box or uh, I gotta come up with something in the house because I can't take them to the barn because I'm not uh, I'm not set up for them down there so I'm gonna have some goslings in the house here for a little while but the third one, or the second one that hatched, is having some kind of problems. It's laying on its side in the uh, in the tray there, and the other two are basically, uh, you know, laying tight against it. I don't know if we're going to get a view of it, but it's not doing too well. The third one, oh, light went off there. Or the second one, I should say. The third one is doing really well. I can't believe it. Uh, we've got two really strong, and then one not so strong. So the last three eggs from the goose. But they're really, uh, I took them out of the uh, incubator and put them in here, but they're really strong. I'm really, because uh, I wanted to keep an eye on them. In the incubator, you can't see anything. But I'm going to uh, set up something here in the house uh, with them and a heat lamp. i got to come up with something. But first, we're going to go inside and let the ducks out. Let, actually, we're going to let all the ducks out. Except for the little ones, we're going to let them have the front of the uh, barn. Well, the weatherman's completely uh, wrong today. So far, we've had a couple of sprinkles, but it was supposed to pour rain all day um, and be an absolutely nasty day, you know, like it was supposed to be a high of like 20 degrees, and it's like 27 degrees right now, and uh, the sun's coming out, and it's nice, but I, uh, I got uh, the Muscovies here, look at this. You know, everybody's coming to the door to get out. And look at that, you know, the, the ducklings go to the other side and nobody touches them. Let's look at them. Okay, we got four mothers over, watching over these babies. Well, they're getting better. I'm in here and they're not freaking and peeking. I guess maybe they're starting to figure out I'm not going to touch the babies. They're so tiny. Oh, 
so cute. Oh, look at that. The other mother's coming over. And the babies keep going in there and nobody's bothering with them. Everybody getting along here. Let's take a look inside. I think everybody's off the nest here. Okay, so they rolled an egg. Oh, actually, they rolled a couple eggs out here. Okay, what's going on here? Those eggs must have, uh, they have, okay. Wow, well, that's bizarre. Um, because this is the only nest I left. And now there's three eggs uh, that are being rolled outside here. They've got to be bad eggs. Now they're going to come back in here a little later. Let's let some ducks out. Oh, oh, everybody wants out. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. You guys really want out bad. Don't you? Here, let's get this happening. Alright, come on out. They walk so funny. So cute. I'm believe this weather, yo, my buddy. I talked to my buddy last night to get him to come and help me set the grids up because uh, it's so much easier. I got to, you know, doing the grid work, especially the way I want to configure it. And uh, you, I, I was talking to him this morning at seven o'clock, and it was raining, and I thought, okay. Was a, he's, you know, we, I put it off thinking that uh, you know today isn't the day to do this, and, and now it's turning out to be an absolutely perfect day to do it. But they're saying that you know, there's, they, the weatherman says it's supposed to get like a nasty rainstorm, so. There's some really neat looking ducks. I'm, uh, it's going to be interesting to know what they're going to turn out like. I think we're, uh, we're going to have a couple marble ducks. All right, guys, I'm going to do, uh, let's do, actually, I'm going to do, yeah, I am going to do, I'm going to do egg recon. And uh, then I'm going to get the uh, water set up out here for the uh, the ducklings. And we'll let the uh, the ducklings from the uh, the back of the barn out so they can have uh, uh, freedom today. Which we should actually get a, a, a mini uh, duckling rush out of the back of the barn. So let me get uh, egg recon out of the way first. Okay, let's see what we got for egg recon here. Oh, look at this. Look at where they're piling the eggs. Look at this. Oh yes, guys. Yesterday, um, nine eggs were completely um, shattered shells. The um, the um, the shell is so thin on them. I think it's because the ducks are free ranging. And another thing too is, you know, when I uh, candled all those eggs yesterday, uh, I couldn't believe how uh, translucent they were. You know, like you could see through them so well. It was. Um, Nothing like the eggs at the beginning of this season, which, you know, are, are so uh, thick that, you know, it's really hard to even see through the shell. All right. I bet you they're not even using my nesting boxes I built. But, but I, uh, I really wanted to do that uh, grid configuration today. I gotta, I'm going to phone my buddy. He's uh, see if he, uh, what he's doing. I know uh, he he mentioned something about Father's Day, so oh, see, look at that! Oh, it's broken. 
the eggs are like the shells are so thin yeah i bet you if we tried to hatch these shells they'd be um you know awesome uh hatching there eat that ducks um see that's that gimpy duck i think mo hurt her i think she's been the victim of mo but we didn't even get enough rain here this morning to wash the pan out but it was uh it looked like it, we were going to get like a serious downpour. I'm really uh, anxious here to let the ducklings out of the back of the barn. I think it's going to be, uh, I think they're going to want out. I couldn't believe how much water they drank. Well, we're getting a whack of eggs here. But this year, you know, I am keeping them in the pen an extra hour and a half, basically. Because um, normally, you know, I would let them out. Oh, broken egg back here. Normally, I would let them out, you know, much earlier. And then, you know, what would, you know, last year I found a lot of eggs in the swamp and in the tall grass. And All right. Let me get the water happening. I'll get it all done. Get it set up so that uh, we can let the babies out. Uh, so they can have access to outside today instead of being trapped in the barn. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious on what this is going to be like, guys. Because, uh, you know, they've had a taste of freedom. Well, sort of freedom. It'll be interesting to see uh, what kind of a rush we get coming out of there. Okay, let's let the, uh, the ducklings out. They should want to leave here. Oh, boys, i got to clean this out already again oh i can't believe it they stripped the feeder i filled that like all oh, heaping this morning or last night they've already drank almost two uh, half things of water i don't believe this well i need more straw in my garden anyway so <laughs> all right ducks are you going to remember what this means I, I don't believe the oh look at that this is uh, the rush they know freedom oh a little hesitation the deer fly are crazy today guys because of the uh, rain I'm getting a uh, bit here I'm trying not to move quick because if I do then I'll stop come on you guys are really slow they're going straight outside though. Come on, get up! I don't believe this. Well, I'm going to go in there and get them up. Because this is ridiculous. Come on, ducks. Let's get outside. Go outside and enjoy yourselves. I can't believe that. I, I'm trying to think. Well, I think I cleaned this yesterday. Well, maybe it was the day before. I don't know. It's a blur here. I know one thing. It's pretty gross right now. Come on. Come on, ducks. Let's go. Out. They don't know what to do. They're, uh, I think it might take a couple days for them to realize what freedom is. Oh, look at that. They're going to get behind there and get trapped. Guaranteed. They won't know enough to come out. Oh, there's that little one there that just refuses to fluff up. Look at this. Oh, ducks. Wrong direction. Unbelievable. I'm going to leave them. They can figure it out. All right. Oh, I got to clean this out. Ah, clean it all out. Garden needs a ton of straw. Anyways, I just, the rain has just brought out a ton of weeds. Oh, yes. Look at that. 
That look like a bunch of ducks just having too much fun. Ducklings, I should say. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for the uh, the seagulls coming into the yard, um, I'd let these guys onto the grass. Oh, look at them over here, chewing. Except that seagulls keep circling, and the ravens keep circling the uh, yard. <laughs> They're so cute. They love drilling in the mud, you know. They prefer the mud than the uh, the little swimming pool. Just look at them go. I bet you tomorrow, guys, we open them up, there'll be a lot faster rush to get out. Uh, you know, the, the, the thing is, it takes a couple days for it to sink into them. Moe's raping a duck. Watch this. See that? Doug knows. That's a good dog, Doug. Come here. <laughs> I was just coming out of the barn. I heard the uh, the sound and Doug took off. He just knows. And you know, like he isn't trying to hurt Mo. He just breaks it up. Like to know the difference, you know, uh, not to, like, you know, any normal dog, you know, if it was like that, would go for the kill and, you know, Mo would be history. But Doug is, uh, you know, he just, he just knows he's got to stop the uh, the stress of the females, and that little peeking female did not want Mo. What a dog! Man, oh man, he's awesome, duck dog. Well, the ducklings now have another new spot. They decided to lay under the tree of the corner of the house. You know, they rushed to get out of the pen just to hide under the trees. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at the goose spread out there. Or the gosling, I should say. Is that like relaxed? Actually, even Junior is uh, relaxed. Look at that. Actually, he's laying on top of another duck. Yeah, he's resting his head on top of a duck. <laughs> oh, man. These are birds. Little ducklings, <laughs> so cute. Well, she's bringing her babies, uh, well, I should say that both of them are bringing the babies out farther. They were just uh, about 10 feet away from the pen. I, I had to go in and grab the camera because I'm working in the barn, doing a big clean up here. And uh, I came out and the little uh, ducklings were running around on the lawn. Now I am worried because we have uh, the seagulls are flying over top. So, I hope the mothers, you know, there's four mothers watching these babies. So, and Doug. Yeah, there's Dougie right there. He's watching. Well, right now he's stressing out because there's deer fly bothering him, but he uh, was sitting here watching them when I came out from the barn. So, you know, I just got to hope that between, uh, you know, the mothers and Doug, that, uh, you know, the seagulls don't get a chance. <coughs> But they're, uh, they're definitely out and about. <laughs> Little Muscovies, they're so small. <laughs> okay, we got a prison break. <laughs> oh, 
It didn't take them long. Uh, I'd say about uh, 50, 20 minutes to realize that the door was open. Doug, come here. Doug, come. Leave him alone. Doug, Doug, come here. Come on. Listen to me. Doug, seriously, I have to tell you today, uh, because we've got this uh, really high humidity right now, because we've got a big storm coming, um, we've got uh, just a ton of deer flies today. And they're irritating me as much as Doug. Doug, Doug, come. Get on this side. You're wrong way. Go back to where you came from. Soon you can come out. Real soon, actually. Come on, keep going, ducks. <laughs> oh, you little sneaks. <laughs> oh. I got it all cleaned out. I mean, uh, I piled her on the, uh, the garden. I got, uh, that's the, uh, actually the zucchini and the squash section done. Oh, Doug's in here now. Doug, come on. Doug, don't make them run on the plastic. It's too slippery. Come. Come, Doug. I know it's really irritating today, isn't it? You're so stressed. I can tell by your face. The humidity and the flies. Almost, I'm looking forward to actually a cloud burst to get rid of this humidity. Come on, out. Let me get this work done. My guard dog. He's uh, he's been guarding them. They keep rushing him. Come over, and every time he lifts his head, they uh, they pull back. <laughs> but he's uh, he's watching to make sure they don't get out. But they keep trying. This dog is just mesmerized by ducks. Well, ducklings. I don't know what it is about them. Just look at them. See, they're going to go around Doug. Are you going to go around? No. No, oh, he put his head down, so that spooked them. Holy mackerel, it's, it's unbelievably humid today. I'm hoping that this storm blows in and clears the air because it's crazy how uh, sticky it is. Look at this poor female. She is getting, uh, like, look at her neck. The males are doing her way too much. That girl's getting way too much mating action. Poor marble duck. So I've, uh, I made a decision, guys, this week. Well, it's not going to happen this week. But I'm going to get all new blood. Uh, well, I'm getting a whole bunch of new blood coming here. I'm going to get rid of all the drakes. When the mo goes, I'm going to get rid of them all. I'm going to do them all and turn them all into burger. Um, it, it, that way, one, it just it's more worthwhile turning into burger, that many birds. Uh, but it gets rid of all the males because the males right now, all they're doing is stressing the females out. And I'm not uh, breeding anymore. Uh, the breeding's over as far as, you know, I need, uh, you know, and as far as fertile eggs is concerned. The ducks will still lay for eggs. The females for a little, while, a little while longer, but there's no use having the females like that kind of thing happening to the females. And there's other females like that I've noticed. Uh, some of the um, uh, the Dalmatian ducks are looking pretty rough. They they're like you can tell the males are on them far too often. So it's it's time to uh, thin them out and, and get some new blood. And I still haven't decided what I'm going to do. I might just go with all uh, ruined drakes uh, for this next season because you know just to shake things up. Give us a little different, uh, you know, mix. Um, I, I don't know yet. I, 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 something tells me I will, but I really like the ruined drakes. And the really the the only reason I got rid of them last year was because uh, you know they one they were the smallest of all the drakes. And what was happening was you know the the Muscovies and the Pekings were beating them up, and it wasn't fair to them being you know all winter they were getting pounded on. So if they're the only drakes, it actually could it'll actually be easier on the females because they're not as heavy. Uh, it won't hurt the females as much to uh, to breed. And who knows, we might get a completely different looking duck. But I, uh, I just gave uh, fresh water to these little guys. They, they weren't interested in the water. They were all sleeping actually. But as soon as I uh, filled the little pool up with fresh water, they were, uh, they, they just went right in. They came actually, they rushed out of the barn here. And of course I got the camera going, so they're leaving. But there's fresh straw inside, so there's, that's a big draw for them right now. Plus it's actually cooler in the barn than it is out here. You wouldn't believe the humidity today. 
it's uh it's it's seriously seriously sticky so i'm gonna uh i gotta go work on my gosling situation i've got to get the uh i've got three goslings i got to get out of the hatcher today so i'm gonna build a well i'm gonna i'm gonna configure a, a, a little temporary uh, brooder i gotta go set up a light bulb into a jar and that but i'll show you when i'm done uh because i've got to get them uh in their own spot two of them are really strong i can't believe how strong they're actually they're they're, they're like little fluff balls but the other one is still not doing too well but i'm gonna get them into uh, their own spot so warm even these guys are just they're sticking underneath this tree they haven't moved all morning well they they surfaced once they went over and had a snack to eat and then uh had some water and then they're back here and actually you can see them panting i'll just zoom in on their face here so you can see them like look at they're actually they're actually hot but well oh, sorry about that guys i was getting bit by a deer fly I, I wish we'd had this thunder burst that they're calling for because uh, it would certainly help take the temperature down. Oh, the reason they got up was, oh, the devil's over here, Dougie. He's he's really stressed today. Deer fly are nuts today, but it always, when the humidity is like this, they come out of the bush. Uh, they don't like being in the open when it's dry, but when it's humid like this, they come out. I think it's because this, uh, any, the skin is, uh, you know, well, all, you know, the animals are, are perspiring and it's, it's, a, it's a better bite for them. I think that's what it is. They like a juicy bite. Something that makes any sense that they're coming out of the bush or they're just coming out of the bush because, you know, it's, you know, it's because it's nice and warm out here and humid and it's, you know, they like that. I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is when it's humid, deer fly are brutal. This goose is, uh, he's taking the ducklings all over the yard. It's so funny. He had them over by the uh, oak tree. They're following him. Uh, wherever he takes them, they're like, they're like a little group behind him. It's so funny to watch. Some of them are really starting to quack. You can hear them. All right, guys, uh, this is uh, an intervention. Um, we have, I got a pail. Um, we've got a situation. Um, the three eggs that were in the middle of the floor of the Muscovy Love Shack, I, you know, I thought, okay, they're laying in the middle of the floor. They got to be bad eggs, right? You'd think that, correct? Well, two were bad. One was a live duck. It was, it was, it, it actually was probably, I'd say, maybe eight hours away from hatching. Um, like, uh, it, I couldn't believe it. I, uh, because I wanted to see, so I broke the eggs open. Okay, relax, girl. I broke the egg open, and uh, the the duckling was a lot, actually it chirped and it scared the crap out of me. And then uh, you know I did the autopsy on it, and it turned out uh, oh oh jeez, okay, get out of here, bird. Oh man, startling me. I hate when they attack me. Their claws. That's the problem. Is their claws because they jump up and uh, try to get you with their claws, and they got wicked claws. Okay. Oh, okay. Anyways, guys. So the egg was out here. That's where the egg was. And, uh... Okay. I hear a duckling in here. Oh, he's under there. Doug! Jeez. Okay. Get outside, you silly tuck. <laughs> Run into the corner. <laughs> uh, okay. So anyways, I did the autopsy. And it had just maybe a quarter of an inch left on its rear end where it absorbs the egg yolk. Um, and it was like it, like a, like six, maybe eight hours away from pipping. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these eggs in the um, incubator. Or hatcher, I mean. I'm going to see if I can candle them, if I can see uh, inside. I doubt it, but I'm going to give it a crack and see if I can see any movement. But uh, it was like, I'd say maybe six, eight hours away from hatching. Um, I couldn't believe it. I, 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 I was blown away. I was like, what the problem is, guys, is because of the babies. That's what's doing it, is that the babies are screwing up the ducks. Uh, they're, they're, they've gotten off the nest. You know, they're doing this, uh, you know, the uh, um, the mother thing, and uh, they've just snapped out of the brooding. brooding and uh, But I, I I didn't like it, guys. I You know, I broke it open down the compost pile, and it was I started bleeding. And 
and I saw the uh, how much of the uh, egg yolk sac was was gone, and I was like, okay, this thing is like so close to hatching, it's ridiculous. So I'm gonna do a quick candle and see if I can see anything with these guys, um, and if I can, I'm gonna put them in that tray, and I'm gonna put them uh, in the top shelf. Plus, I've set up a place here for the uh, the goslings, just a, a temporary place. Uh, until I uh, get the barn set up, which will probably be Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, you know, I, I thought today for sure I was going to have uh, an easy day, and I have been working. It's 4 o'clock. I haven't stopped all day. All right, I'm going to get my uh, candler and see if I can see anything. This egg's got veins, but... One of these eggs is rotten, I can smell it here. It's like there's, um, it's like something, it looks like something was alive in it, but no longer is. Okay, this one's got veins, more veins. Absolutely massive air sacs, though. Like a third of the egg, but I don't see anything in there. Oh. Okay, now the lights just come on, so it's going to make it a little more difficult to see here. No, nothing in that one. Okay, I think all these eggs are uh, history. They're ice cold, though. But one of them stinks bad. Like, I can see the, the veins, but... It is pretty red, the veins, like, it's not like, uh, you know, it's not black. Tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to put the ones that, see, like, the, the, the veins, oh, okay, I saw that vein move, like it pumped. I wonder if it's just because they're so cold. Okay, that one I see red veins. This one's iffy. I see a little bit of red vein there. Yeah, I see red veins on that one too. I wonder where the smell's coming from. Got red veins. Oh, okay, that's the that's the bad one. Whew, is it ever? Okay, this one I don't see red veins. Oh, I do actually. I can't believe the size of the air sac in them, though. Okay. I'm going to, uh... That one there has got definitely a double check of smell here. Oh, yeah, it's got a bad smell. Where these guys... 
Okay, I'm gonna do guys. I'm gonna put these five eggs in the hatcher and let them go this week, and we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I just know one thing: we leave them in the in the love shack. They're history, because uh, I couldn't believe it rolled out in the middle of the love shack floor, and it was a perfectly good duckling inside of a. Oh, it made me. I actually didn't like that at all, guys. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, it was. It was not nice. I didn't like that. Anyways. Okay, let's put these um, in the uh, hatcher. I'll give them a little bit of a squirt of water here. Alright. Okay, what's the temperature here? I've got. 82 okay it's coming up here uh, give that I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit more and then I'm gonna transfer the uh, the two babies that are really strong um, into there I'll give it I'll give it about an hour and we'll come back look at this the goose took them back over to the oak tree it's like what happens is the goose walks over here they have a drink of water then they go back and lay underneath the oak tree and just like the first year ducks I had they love to eat the oak tree leaves I remember the first year uh, ducks I had, they ate all the branches, cleaned everything off on the underneath. You could actually see underneath the tree. But look at them. And that goose just sticks to them. That's so awesome. I love it. Okay, people, it's time to move the goslings. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that little guy, he's still not getting up. Oh, look at you. Are you ever pretty? Oh, look at this. Yes, we're going to put you in here. Put you in here. Okay, what's going on with you? Oh, a little stuck. The cord stuck on the back of you. Okay, I'm going to leave you in the hatcher a little bit longer. You're getting stronger. Yeah, I'm going to wait a little longer here. Maybe tomorrow morning. Alright, these guys. Oh, look at that. Alright, you got water, you got food. Hmm. Okay, it's 86.4 degrees, and they can uh, actually, they can go right up and cuddle against the light bulb if they want to stay warm. They got food, they got water. And they're giant, they're little fluff balls, not giant, but they're little fluff balls. All right. Okay, so that's the goslings, temporary shelter. 